Hello and welcome to this video. Today I am going to show you how to crack web using a packet capture. I will also show you how to decrypt packets using the web key in Wireshark. What we have here today is the program Aircrack NG which you can download from the internet, it's free. And we also have a packet capture next to the program. That's the packet capture which I created earlier. It consists of many networks within the wireless vicinity and uh, also via shop next to it. So what we do is go into the program and click open, go to desktop, click on the packet capture. Okay. The settings um, on this page we keep them the same. And we click launch and the command screen will pop up. There is a list of BSS IDs from the packet capture. The one we're interested in for this exercise is CAF B. So we put in number one and press enter. Now the air cracking has started. It does take a little bit of time depending on the strength of the web key. There you go. The web key has been found. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the letter A. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open the packet capture which is currently encrypted and we're going to decrypt that packet capture. Just double click on the packet capture to open it in Wireshark. Um, the way you identify whether the packet capture is encrypted or decrypted is you'll see that the packet capture consists of only IEEE protocol packets. If you look on the left hand side of the screen you'll see a list of IEEE you won't see other data packets etc so what we do is we click on edit and preferences click on protocols and just click on one and press the letter I will take you to I within the list and then we want to select IEEE 802.11 click on enable decryption enter the web key which we found um, using the aircraft ng which was one two three four five six seven eight nine eight and press OK or we'll apply and the decrypting will start. It doesn't take too long, a few seconds. And now you'll notice that you'll see different types of packets within the protocol list. You'll see ARP packets, MSNMS packets, etc. This shows that the packet capture has been decrypted. It's gonna scroll through the list, show you some examples there. You'll also notice that there are much more packets when you decrypt the packets than when they are when the packet capture is encrypted. Thank you for watching.